Welcome back to another entry in my video diary in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling, this is my island Fawn Hollow, and shall we see what's going on today? We shall. Um, since last time. Have I done anything since last time? Not really. Uh, let me think. I played on the night, Celeste wasn't there, unfortunately, and no, sh um, what do we call it? Shooting stars, as far as I could see, but Wisp visited. And he gave me, I don't remember what he gave me actually, but it's in my inventory, so we'll probably see. Oh, 11 11, make a wish, everyone. Anyway, good morning, everyone. Right now in Fawn Hollow, it's 11 11 a.m. on Monday, May 11th, 2020. Mm, nothing really to speak of today. Anyone catch that show? It was a quiz show this time. Let's say quiz shows, some of my favourite shows. Only Connect, fantastic one. University Challenge, also a great one. To be fair, I don't watch any other, so <laughs> that's about it. But I haven't watched them in a while, but anyway. A letter from Silvana. Thinking of you, Mountain. I was out for a walk on the beach just now when I remembered the funny thing you said once, and it made me smile all over again. I thought you should know that, so that's why I sent you this note. Never change, Silvana. Aw, thank you, Silvana. That's sweet. Some more bamboo shoots. Thank you very kindly, Daisy May. As well, take a gander at our flowers over here. Wait, do we have our presents? We have our presents ready. There's bamboo shoots. Apparently the thing I got from Wisp, not in there. So let's just say morning to Roscoe and see what's going on today. Who do we think is our visitor for today? Who have we not seen for a while? We haven't seen CJ for a while, so that might be a visitor. Who else have we not seen? Um, hmm. Oh, Labelle. We have, no, sorry, Label. I suppose as she goes by now. Also, we have a lot of blue pansies here. So much so that we can actually start um, planting them by Flo's house instead. That was not what I meant to do. Put that back. Anyway. How's your... How are your lives today? You have a good Mother's Day yesterday. I believe it was Mother's Day in USA. It's not when Mother's Day is in UK. In UK, Mother's Day is in March for whatever reason. I don't know why it's different. There's probably some historic reason that I'm not privy to. But I believe our Father's Days are on the same day. So yeah. Um, hope you all had a good time with that and you treated your mother something nice or something. I don't know what this phrasing is. I'm not sure where I was going with this. But Kix is here. So let's buy some of this weird stuff that he's got for us. I'm starting to think that maybe he does have exclusive things because I've never seen these frilly knee high socks before. And also, I mean, yeah, we also never see these bags, but like. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that's also fair. Isn't it kind of weird? He sells bags as well. He's known for all shoes and stuff, and then very if a hippo is just like, oh, we have another accessory now. Back bling. But we don't know who to give it to. Hello, Diana. I'll speak to you in just a second, don't worry. Yeah, very like we have a new accessory, so we'll just give it to us a random NPC. Why don't we do give it to Kicks? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I don't know. He seems happy to be doing it, so we'll leave him to it. Morning, Diana. We'll give you also a present of an orange or cherry or pear. I don't remember what's inside this one. It's all a mystery to me. <laughs> These presents probably get less and less special every single time I give it to him. I like, oh, here comes deer again. Another fruit, I see. I know, I know, deer, we should eat healthy, something, something, something. Hmm, I gave it red. Is that a hybrid red? That might be a hybrid red. Um, the, to be fair, these two, I think I was non, not sure if they were hybrids or not, so I should probably move them. <laughs> In fact, I think I will. Because who knows what they are? I don't, do you? I don't. There's a chance for hybrid reds, but at least the, those two up there I know are guaranteed hybrid pinks and reds. Same with the other two we have. So let's just... Very, very nice. We're actually getting pretty close to our uh, flower collection. Um, I'm not sure where to put these pansies, so we'll just put them on the path for now so they can actually grow. Then we'll move them again. And we'll visit Flo since we're right here. But, um, no, as I was saying, we're actually getting pretty close to a um, getting all the flower colours are. Because if we think about it, the only ones we're missing are purple pansies, purple windflowers, and blue roses. And blue roses takes a long time. 
and purple pansies and purple windflowers is just a, a matter of time, so, you know, there's nothing, nothing to it. Except for just patience at this point. We have opportunities to get purple pansies or purple windflowers, but just, you know, you just gotta wait for them. Patience is a virtue, like that old advert said, whenever. I don't even remember what it was about. <laughs> Actually, that must have been ages ago now I think about it. Was it a phone advert? It must have been a phone advert. You know, adverts are kind of weird. Oh. It seems like a lot of adverts nowadays are going for the more cinematic, let's tell a story sort of approach. I think the infamous one is always like perfume adverts and uh, car adverts always. <laughs> are very confusing. Wait, wasn't there like some parody advert that maybe it was like Old Spice did or something? I feel like I have this vague memory of some guy reaching into a watermelon and being like, oh, it's a fruit, it's an advert for fruit. And then he pulls out like a shampoo bottle or something. Oh my word, please, please dig up this tree stump. Dan, I don't look. This is embarrassing. Embarrassing. Is that another purple hyacinth? I believe it is, my dear friend. Perfect. We can actually replace one of these with a purple hyacinth. Um, couple now. So we can move that one over there. I kind of wish they had green hyacinths though. I think I've said this so many times now, but I wish they had more green flowers. I know there's not like a huge amount of green flowers in the first place. I mean, I suppose there's weeds. I suppose you can always do weeds, but you know, weeds detract from your five star scoring system. And also seem a bit random. <laughs> um, of course, we've seen Diana today. There's a message in a bottle. Who do we think it's from? I think it's going to be from Jitters. One of these, I'm going to. One of these days, I'm going to get it right. An angled signpost. I already know this recipe. I'm sorry, Hugh. But alas, you are too slow in teaching me. Uh, 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 uh. I'm not sure why we're going clockwise around our island today. Apparently, this is just what I felt like doing. Considerably more inefficient, I think, because we'll often run into pink flowers. I don't know how to run all the way back here to get to Lily, but we get to see Able Sisters early, so let's do that. But yeah, isn't it strange how car adverts, especially Christmas adverts, I don't know if it's as much of a thing in the USA, but in UK, always the Christmas adverts are always some like deep sentimental um, story based advert with some deeper moral or like, I don't know, lesson to be learned with some moving story meant to evoke emotions around Christmas time and then bring it back to being a royal show. Oh. And then you realise, ah, oh, it's actually, this is like commercialisation, isn't it, anyway? So it's a bit like, how am I meant to feel about this? You don't know. You don't know. I suppose it's up to you. Oh, these are quite pretty. A fedora. Have we got a fedora? I can't remember if we bought a fedora before. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? How crazy it would be if, like, Abel Sisters and Nick's Granny and stuff had adverts. If like, I don't know, TV was much more of a media form, I suppose, in Animal, in the Animal Crossing universe. Maybe they could do their own sentimental adverts based around pulling around your heartstrings until you take a close inspection and be like, hmm, this is just telling me to buy their stuff. Another purple rose, there are two purple roses there. But no hybrids that we can see. Or at least no other uh, purple hybrids that we need for getting our blue rose. We have five stations set up now, so. Perhaps I think I should do is I should switch for purple, these purple breeding spots with these pink ones. So there's no chance I'll get confused. I think I spoke about this month. My pockets are full. Oh, I guess I never got rid of like most of my presents and stuff I've got in my adventure. Yeah, that's right. Okay. You know, fair. That's fair. That's fair. Let's plant some windflowers over here, because we, like, never plant windflowers over here. Oh, I could also just put this away. <laughs> but let's pay a visit to Hippo. Hippo's not even here. So let's not pay a visit to Hippo. I'm sorry, Hippo. You had your chance. You blew it. But yeah, I should, I should move these purple ones. Just so we don't interfere with a 
a blue hybrid rose growing. Oh, I could just put stuff down here, can't I? What designs do I have? I haven't done custom designing in ages. Can we just put these down? Oh my word, how, how long will this take? This is what we're just going to do, just to separate them out, you know? Let me think how it's going to work. <laughs> I keep pressing the wrong button. I keep thinking it's an item I have. So I'll pick pictures of our flag here. And that should be okay, actually. Because if it grows here, we know it's not from the purple and white ones. It's just, it's just three, three spots. We don't even need this one, right? How do we get rid of it? Wait, how, how do we get rid of it? Oh, there we go. It's just these two. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. That, that just makes... Wait, we should also check we can't actually plant flowers on this. Okay, we can't. Fantastic. So that means now, if we get any purple roses, we'll be able to differentiate them properly. And I believe that would not detract from a poss... It will not detract from a probability of... Um, Flowers growing, I suppose, there, is what I meant to say. Savannah's not in the she? No, doesn't look like it. Savannah's always out and about, you know. She likes to be at one with nature. Let's see what mums we got growing. Um, nothing special, just uh, another white mum. No more fossils, though. Are there any fossils up there? I'm trying to think what Christmas adverts we had the most recent year, to be honest. Hey, there's weeds growing down there. How long have those been growing down there for? How am I ever meant to find them? They're so hard to see. There's so many weeds growing here. This is why there's always been weeds growing on this cliff, is because there was a weed behind this cliff this the entire time. <laughs> I feel like I've just been enlightened, to be honest. Let's see if there's any weeds over here. Not what I can see. That makes so much sense. I was wondering how weeds could... If you don't know and you haven't been seeing all these past few days. Oh, another Lily the Valley. That one... Oh, my word. That one particular spot has been growing weeds for, like, the past... Every day, almost, for the past, like, a week or so. And I've, I've just been absolutely bewildered every single time. We just swap like that. I, I don't see why we can't just bury this in a hole, but, you know. As you do, I suppose. Let's not leave our sock here. Yeah, but this one spot has been growing weeds every single time, and I've been like, how is a, a weed growing here every single day? And then that, that's been my answer. There's actually weeds behind the cliff this entire time. And I feel like a fool for finally discovering. Um, no new lilies, it seems. Let's plant these roses down by Vivian's place. Ooh, more roses and tulips, though. a fanciful amount. Uh, we have no tulips because we haven't seen the tulips yet. Uh, wait, was Vivian in? I didn't even look. So I got Joy-Con Drift, which is why I keep... Oh, I didn't even see if Eric was in either. He is in. Oh, no. Yeah, like, um, these, these, I have two pairs of Joy-Cons. I have a blue and red one and I have a green and pink one, which are like the Splatoon ones. But these green and pink ones, I've got significantly more Joy-Con drift on them, like... My my green one keeps turning me to the left, so I keep randomly facing left sometimes, especially when I'm watering flowers and it gets very annoying. And the pink one keeps looking up to the sky. <laughs> it's just absolutely bizarre, to be honest. It's weird that's such a thing, you know, Nintendo. It's not an issue I think Nintendo had on previous... ...controllers or anything, and it's not even something I've heard of on, on other consoles. But, you know, mistakes happen. Maybe they'll fix it in future generations of Joy-Cons. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not going to get my hopes up too much with Nintendo, apart from I'm releasing great party games. They always seem, no offence to Nintendo, a little bit backwards when it comes to some things, especially regarding, regarding like, online play. But, you know, I, d I don't need to go into that. that that's, that's a whole bout of negativity, which I'm not here for. I'm here for... Relaxing positivity, you know. And you know what's relaxing positivity? Nintendo games. Absolutely true. I mean, look, I'm playing Animal Crossing. 
That's like the epitome of it. We have some pink tulips. Which we... I don't have enough space at Lily's... Lily's house anymore, <laughs> so... I'm not sure quite what I'm going to do. I really do need to give away some flowers again. When I've got the opportunity. But we've got some more black tulips, which, um... We also should give away as well. I mean, look how many we got. <laughs> we don't have enough of the other black flowers to plant them here either. So soon his garden will be completely full. What other black flowers are there? There's lilies and roses, right? Are those the only ones with other black variants? I think so. I think so. Oh yeah, I've been watering these orange roses because apparently orange roses... Two orange roses bred together also have a 1 in 64 chance of breeding a blue rose. So, you know, you might as well take those, might as well take those chances. Ah. No, that's not even what I'm meant to click. I need to figure out what I'm doing with my roses. I've got too many roses and too many hyacinths. Hmm, I don't know. We've got two more hyacinths. This is something I was meant to sort out off camera, but I didn't. Oh, dear me. Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll just leave these here for now. <laughs> and this time, for sure, I'll sort it out off camera. I think I'll ask Benny if he wants a load of flowers, and I can that I can just generally, generously, what? That's not a word. Generously donate to him before we leave Vivian's place. Let's drop off his purple tulips. And I've been talking about putting paths down because <laughs> I don't know if you're anything like me, but if you look at other people's islands, like on whatever social media form you like, I don't know. Like on Twitter or Reddit or Pinterest. I don't know. Is it on Pinterest? Probably not. Pinterest is more like a rehosting site. Not that Reddit isn't, but still. <coughs> there you are, Vivian. What? <laughs> Get rid of a shovel. It's a nuisance. Hello, Vivian. Oh, yeah. I so changed Vivian's um, catchphrase at some point. So she says deer now instead of piffle. Which she's... Which apparently she's not said in this conversation yet. Okay, fair enough. No, Vivian, speak to me. What have you got to say? No watering. Here it is. What is it, dear? <laughs> Kix is here today, you know. I saw him just a moment ago in the plaza, dear. Each and every item he sells is an absolute gem. I must confess, I'm a quite a repeat customer. <laughs> I'll leave you to it, Vivian. Um, there's so many flowers here. Hold on, word. Okay, 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 okay. Let's just say hi to Audi before we figure out what we're going to do with all these flowers. Audi, you've been crafting every single time I've entered your house for like three days ago. What are you doing, Audi? A shell bed. I do already know how to make this. I'm so sorry. You, sh you should know I know how to make this, Audi. I put one outside your house. <laughs> but thank you for the recipe anyway. Anyway, anyway, even. <clears throat> I'll give this to Benedict, probably. As we casually walk along and almost destroy all our hyacinths. What was I talking about before? Oh yeah, like, if you see other people's island decorations and, like, the way they set up the island with their paths and they got, like, metropolises and stuff going on. Firstly, don't get discouraged, you know. Those things take time, and most people put a lot of time into it, I'm sure. And I'm sure you could do the same thing if you also put your mind to it. It just takes, you know, a good idea and some inspiration. And that's what they're great for. They're great for inspiration. <laughs> so don't feel discouraged, is what I was going to say, anyway. Um, no, what was I going to say? <laughs> I was going to say there's so many cool ideas that you can garner from other people's decorations when you see them like um there's one i saw today which had a really cool like cliff based town system i suppose is how i describe it i'm not sh i'm not sure if that's um particularly doing it justice but it was like we had i didn't mean to learn this meant to drop this item they had like tiers of like they're, they're like their, their entrance we had like free all free they made use of all three different tiers and they like paved the entire ground using the like brick to 
give the impression that it was like a paved tiled cliff city, cliff like city. And I was like, that's super cool. And the amount of times people use waterfalls to like decorate everything around, like surround places with a whole swath of waterfalls. Just surrounding a building is so pretty. And I think it's actually a really good thing I want to go for. So, you know, those ideas, those things are being saved in like my memory bank to eventually be used when I decide to do some grand redecoration. But I kind of, I think I say this every single time. I think I want more furniture items so I know what sort of things I want to build. Because I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with how my town looks right now. I don't think it needs to look too extravagant. I suppose when I get into the race and for smaller projects I'll start doing them but it is quite time consuming doing a lot of decorations so every time I see so you know planning basically for town decorations is much more fun than actually trying to do it using the implemented tools in um, Animal Crossing there's a lot of doing things one by one which as you can imagine is not particularly glamorous so I suppose yeah, that's where my hesitancy comes in. Anyway, let's have a chat with Nook and Nook. See what we've got for sale today. That's a new cardboard box. I've never seen that before. Hold up. Talk to Silvana. <laughs> and give her the thing before she gets distracted by something. Did we visit? Who have we not said hi to? We haven't said hi to Lily. She might have actually been in her home, I forgot to check. I don't know how I always forget to check when I walk past. I'm probably too distracted by speaking about whatever I decided was important at the time. Um, don't we have most of these? I'm not sure. What are the turnip prices like for today? 93. Let's make a note of that somewhere. I forgot to bring up my turnip spreadsheet, so. How much space do we have in our inventory? We've got enough. It's an interesting variant of a cardboard box I've never seen before. I didn't know there were fruit cardboard boxes. I'm pretty sure we have golf clubs before. But if it's cheap, we could buy it again. Maybe we don't have this variation. I'm not sure. I'll have a check when we get back to our house. Let's see what we got in our cabinet. That is a cute umbrella. <laughs> a bear umbrella. Obviously, you had to buy that. Anything else? Uh, 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 uh. Not particularly. We'll give that all a pass for now. Hey, we got an upstairs. It looks cranny. I bet that's for future expansions. When we eventually pack, pack in, patch in another upgrade for Nook's cranny. If I have a whole second floor, I'm calling it now. I mean, I feel like that's like the easiest thing to call in, <laughs> in history, seeing as like that's how literally how it was in all the past versions. Hmm, we missed a fossil somewhere. I'm running into the watering fountain. So it was Lily we haven't spoke to, spoken to. Who is the other person? Who is the other person? There's two people, right? Flo. I think it's Flo. Oh man, Lily, your garden's getting so full. There's actually no more room, no more room anymore. Hello, Lily. Sorry, were you working out? I didn't mean to distract you. Do you want this? Were you working out? You're just in a vest, Lily. Maybe were you in the middle of getting changed? You're very polite <laughs> about it anyway. A marble print dress. Thank you very much. I love Lily's house so much. It's so got such a like clean aesthetic, doesn't it? What's she listening to? I get a lot more knitting done when I'm listening to my favourite music on my cute music player. It's just stitch after stitch, knitting along with a beat. Sometimes it's nice just to get lost in the rhythm. That's fair enough, Lenny. I can't blame you for that. We'll leave you to it. I'm sorry if you're about to have a wash or something. Um, what pink flowers do we have to plant here? We have a tulip and a cosmos. I don't know where we're going to plant them, so we're just going to plant them like this randomly. It's fine, I'll sort it out another time. It's a future me problem, not a me now problem. That's horrible advice, by the way. Don't don't stick with that. <laughs> oh no, that's totally in my way. I'm gonna totally run into that. If you got something which takes less than five minutes to do, the grand advice is just do it now. 
if it's less than five minutes is like no time so unless you're incredibly pressed for time at the moment like you have something even more pressing to do and just do it then that's a grand advice dear darling's tip for the day ah flo is home i don't know why i didn't think you were home or maybe i just didn't pay attention it's just every time i'm dropping off flowers i just always forget but then in my mind i'm like oh visited already oh i already gave something to flo Wait, you really wearing a heart apron? Huh. I'm glad at least one of us can pull off that look. It works for you. Thanks, thanks, Flo. I think we're sister sisterly villagers get a bad rep in Animal Crossing. We seem like the least popular. One of the least popular types because they're um, much more blunt. But I think they're actually quite nice, to be honest. They are, they are just, as, as I said, they're a bit more blunt than your usual villager, which maybe doesn't always rub people the right way but I don't think it's a bad thing it's nice to have a variety and it's nice to have a much more straightforward villager personality especially since snooty types have been turned down to being much much more polite <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm gonna be completely honest I don't know if they were always this polite in this game in the previous game sorry but the snooty villagers in this game are so kind they lost a lot of their sass, which maybe I guess the sisterly villagers got instead. It's just interesting to see. I don't know if it's actually like they've rewritten the personalities to like round them out or if it's something I just re remember them being much, not harsher per se, but much more. Less, um, what's the word? Maybe it's harsher. <laughs> More, more sassy, more more rough around the edges, I suppose, in previous games than they are in this game. It's interesting. It is very much interesting. Specific for Peppy Village has also changed quite a lot as well. I think I always mention that. Or at least they feel different. It's like um. I mean, they're still, like, as peppy as before, but they've, like, been kicked into high gear with their, like, slang and all that. Who am I not giving something to? Roscoe? No, Roscoe we started off with. We gave something to Vivian, we gave something to Flo, we gave something to Roscoe, we gave... Oh, no, have we not given something to Eric? He wasn't in this... No, he... he... No, we did. We gave something to Axel, we gave something to Savannah. Huh? Maybe I didn't give something to Roscoe? I thought I did. Maybe I had 11. Gifts. I'm actually super confused. Who have I not given a gift to? Definitely gave it to Hippo. I think. Let's just chat to everyone again. Just to make sure. You know who's the real brains behind the Fawn Hollow? It's clearly Isabel. Can you imagine what this place would be like without her? <sighs> this whole island would be like my place on laundry day. I do like how they turn to look at things. Oh my word. Good morning. How bad it wonk? Did that wake you up? <laughs> What's the latest? I do, I do like when they talk about place locations. Where like you turn and you both turn and look towards them. It's quite interesting, isn't it? Was it Diana? Did we not give him something to Diana? I really thought I did. I must have just had like 11. Hello, Diana. No, he gave him to Diana. So, no, we gave something to Savannah. I'm actually at a loss. I must have had 11. Hold on. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, did we? No. <laughs> it must have been Roscoe then. I must have just spoke with him and not actually given him anything. But where's he off to now? That's a big question. Or do we just not give anything to Eric? Do we just speak to him and walk away? I don't know. I'm, I, I'm actually bewildered. I thought I'd be able to keep track of which villagers villagers. Oh, maybe it was Audi. 
Did we just speak with you and give you a recipe? And get a recipe from you, but not actually give you anything? That seems plausible, I don't know. Still crafting, I'm sorry. You keep making your clan bed. Ah, that was it. We spoke with Audie, got a recipe, and we just didn't give anything to her. It's an orange. An intercom monitor? I hear you love this. What a peculiar personality trait to put onto someone. I love intercom monitors. I mean, maybe I do. I have one in my home, I believe. I think so. Is this something we can... Yeah, this is a wall thing. Alright then. Well, that's been a, certainly an interesting... An interesting day. Another low-key day. Mostly just... <laughs> most of my time I was just trying to remember um, Christmas adverts, to be honest. Heart-wrenching adverts or misleading adverts. With weird directions. It could be a fun guessing game. Gu guess the advert before you reach the end. Bonus points if you get the company. It's talking about adverts. An advert in itself. I suppose so. I suppose right now, you're being subjected to my own advertising. For companies who aren't even paying me for it. They're just getting free advertising. Outrageous. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> I'm absolutely, completely getting lost in my own... My own brain. Um, no, we got all those fences. Let's take a, a peep at Nook Shopping. What have you got for us today? What is this? KK drum and bass? <laughs> Certainly interesting. Uh, we don't need anything else. What's this? A load of cardboard boxes. Don't need any of those. Um, and I think I'll take a leaf. Is there anything I need to do or show before we end off today's episode? Not really. Not that I can think of, at least. Seriously, my mind is actually just completely flooded with Christmas adverts from previous years. All I can think about is that one advert of that dog jumping on a trampoline. And then the kid got really upset. But I can't even remember how it ends. <laughs> I don't know. Look it up if you have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> but anyway, I think we'll round off this episode here in my field of turnips. So if you have been watching, thank you very much. This has been Animal Quest in New Horizons, and I've been Dear Darling. I hope we can see each other again, but for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now.